Hey there. Today, I'm going to guide you through one of the most crucial parts of your dissertation, the findings chapter. If you're working with qualitative data and using thematic analysis, this can be a bit tricky, but don't worry, I've got you covered. First things first, you need to reintroduce your research questions. Remind your readers what you're trying to discover through your study. This sets the stage and helps them understand the importance of your findings. Next, it's time to present your themes. These are the main patterns you've identified in your data. Start with a brief overview of all your themes. Think of it like a sneak peek trailer for a movie, giving your readers a taste of what's coming up. For each theme, you want to follow a consistent structure. Begin with a clear and concise heading. After that, provide a detailed description of the theme. Explain what it is and why it's significant to your research. Now here's where it gets interesting. Use direct quotes from your data to support your analysis. These quotes are like the evidence in your argument. Make sure you explain how each quote relates to your theme. Don't just throw them in, give them context and meaning. It's also important to include any sub-themes you've identified. These are smaller patterns within your main themes. Think of sub-themes as different modalities or expressions for the theme. Discuss how these sub-themes contribute to your overall findings. Remember to keep your writing clear and concise. You can also use a table for added clarity to link each theme with some exemplary quotes. You want your readers to easily follow your analysis process. Being straightforward and using the real words from your participants is key. As you wrap up each theme, reflect on its implications relating to your objectives. What do these findings mean for your research questions? How do they contribute to the existing body of knowledge? Provide a brief summary to tie everything together. Utilize diagrams, charts, mind maps and word clouds to show your data. Visual tools can greatly enhance understanding, making the link between your data and the themes identified more visible. Finally, finish with a mind map showing the link between your themes and a concluding paragraph that summarizes the key findings of your chapter. It is important at this stage to highlight the most important themes and their implications for your research objectives as you are closing the chapter. This ensures your readers leave with a clear understanding of what you've discovered. And there you have it. By following these steps, you'll be able to craft a compelling and coherent findings chapter. Remember, your goal is to tell the story of your data in a way that's engaging and informative. Good luck and happy writing. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe for more tips and guides. See you next time.